Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Laura Weddle. She's an extension specialist for farm stress and rural mental health. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on the show, Laura. Today you are going to talk to us about National Depression Screening Day. Laura, what is this and when is National Depression Screening Day? Today is actually National Depression Screening Day. Um, it all started back in 1946. Um, the National Mental Health Act became law. And then from there, the National Institute of Mental Health was established. So it's really, it, you know, it's less than 100 years old um, when they instituted those laws and that, and that organization. And from there, a uh, mental health week was created. So with this, this new um, awareness around mental health, um, they created different days. And so today is National Depression Screening Day. Um, and, and from all of that awareness, depression screenings are now incorporated into primary care mm -hmm. and um, just paying attention to the subject has, has grown across the United States. Laura, we know that depression affects so many of us, and we are so thankful that mental health awareness is being talked about more and more. Laura, can you talk to us about some of the signs of depression that we can recognize? Right. So, I, you know, there there is a large number of individuals that experience depression from year to year. Um, and there's a lot of symptoms. There's a, a huge range of sim symptoms that fall um, under the category of depression. And not everyone who's depressed um, experiences the same symptoms or all of the symptoms. So everyone's different, but it's important to recognize each of the symptoms. So I'll kind of list a few off. Um, you know, depression's often thought of as persistent sadness. Um, sometimes some anxiety can work its way into there. Um, there might be a feeling of emptiness. Um, along with those feelings, there might be hopelessness, irritability, frustration, sometimes some restlessness um, or guilt, worthlessness. Um, some Someone experiencing depression might lose interest or pleasure in the hobbies or activities that they once enjoyed. Um, they might have a decrease in their, their typical energy levels, feel more fatigued than usual, kind of feeling slowed down. Mm -hmm. um, they might have some difficulty concentrating, remembering things, making decisions. Um, depression can actually also um, disrupt your sleep, and sleep is really important um, for our physical health. There also might be some changes in appetite, um, some unplanned weight loss or weight gain. So some changes there. Um, and it can actually escalate onto thoughts of death or suicide or actual suicide attempts. So um, all of these signs and symptoms of depression, um, we, we kind of need to be aware of for ourselves and for others. Laura, how can we or someone observe National Depression Screening Day? Um, as a part of this day, I think communities, workplaces, and schools were encouraged to, to screen for depression. Um, we want to encourage everyone to learn more about those signs and symptoms and what types of resources are available in your community. Um, so, you know, it, it's always nice to reach out to someone who you may be think it may be experiencing a mental health challenge like depression, um, let them know that you're there for support um, or you can recommend some resources to them. And as always, I like to bring up 988. Mm -hmm. um, 988 is available for all mental health and suicide crises. It is our national hotline number. Um, it's, a, it's a newer number that just rolled out this summer. It's the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline number. Um, if there is an immediate emergency, you should always call 911. But if you'd like to speak to someone about a crisis, you can call 988 and speak to a trained crisis specialist. You can also reach out to your local extension office for more resources as well. All right, Laura, thank you so much for being with us today. If you are watching and are interested in a depression screening, be sure to contact your primary care doctor. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.